Hi all, welcome back to a new post today and let's continue with the August 19th, the most important points that you need to keep track for the upcoming UPSC Civil Services Examination of Prelims. And uh, the very first thing is about cloudburst. Now, there was a cloudburst in Sikkim, which led to the damage of a hydroelectric power by the National Hydropower Corporation. And what exactly is a cloudburst? So, we have um, the maximum, uh, uh, the cloudburst is defined as a phenomena where it is a maximum volume of precipitation during a very short time. Uh, Hailstorms, thunderstorms occasionally occur, uh, accompany it, and it is effective in creating a flooding in a very short period of time. So, cloudbursts can quickly generate a large amount of water but they are rare because they only occur as when a huge amount of air is lifted by geographical aspects like a hill or a mountain range and generally cloudbursts do not last for more than few minutes cloudbursts happen when the drenched clouds cannot actually cause rays because uh, rains because of rising movement of the extremely hot air current rather than falling ra raindrops get larger in dimension and they are forced up because of the hair current now finally we have heavier uh, rainfall and this leading to rainfall above the normal situation so what exactly are the properties of the cloudburst now given by imd rainfall rate is equal to 100 millimeters or more than 100 millimeters per hour and uh, there are different terminology I mean there are different criteria used by various countries for e example in Sweden they use one millimeter per minute uh, uh, is uh, for uh, new for uh, short bursts and 50 millimeter per hour for long lasting rainfalls now this depends upon the climatic region and also the altitude of a region uh, for the criteria to be conducive for a cloud burst now corresponding cloud um, conducting cloud can go up to a height of 15 kilometers from the ground level and the next is about the forum for indo-pacific islands cooperation uh, the forum for indo-pacific islands cooperation was news because uh, the prime minister uh, met the Ma maldives uh, myanmar prime minister recently and uh, and both had discussed uh, to improve their partnership to strategic partnership the forum for indo-pacific islands cooperation was talked about that uh, it is a multinational grouping that was developed in 2014 for cooperation between the republic of india and 14 pacific island nations no mainly the Cook's Island, the Fiji, Kiribati, Marshall, uh, Federated States of Micronesia, Nauru, CO, Samoa, uh, Solomon Islands, Palau, Papua, uh, Papua New Guinea, Tonga, Tivalu and Vananda. All the heads of the states of the government of the other countries recently met for the, I'm sorry, met for the first time in uh, Suva, Fiji, but in 2014 where the annual summit was conceptualized. And uh, the next most important is about World Menstrual Hygiene Day that is celebrated on May 28th and the, recently the Ministry of Women and Child Development also was discussing the issue with regard to menstrual leave in the parliament during the budget session. So it highlights the importance of good menstrual hygiene practices at the global level and it was initiated by German NGO WASH United in 2013 and observed for the very first time again in 2014. And uh, in developing countries, let me tell you women's choices of menstrual hygiene hygiene materials are often limited and therefore adequate sanitation facilities along with the access to feminine hygiene products are most important uh, for adequate uh, menstrual hygiene. And recently the digital competition bill also was discussed. It was enacted online of the EU Digital Markets Act. It proposes a preemptive pre regulatory framework for overseeing digital markets in India, drawing inspiration from the Digital Markets Act of European Union and industry stakeholders are opposing this act. Ministry of Corporate Affairs had released a really, uh, report of the digital competition law and this move comes in the wake of increasing scrutiny and discussions around the anti-competitive practices of big tech companies like Google, etc. So the committee observed that current ex post facto framework of Competition Act of 2002 needs to be supplemented for better concerns with regard to anti-competitive practices of digital enterprises that is uh, which are online mostly. And the, May, the bill aims to regulate the big companies based on their turnover, gross merchandise value and also number of users and other factors as well. And recently, RBI has launched two major initiatives, the Prava portal uh, and the retail direct mobile apping and a fintech repository. Now, the Prava portal is to secure a centralized web-based platform for individuals and entities to apply online for various regulatory approvals from the RBI. And 
this is about the most important issues apart from that we have um, elections coming up now for Jammu and Kashmir so we have the elections law in India which includes the representation of people act 1950 election uh, laws with regard to uh, representation of people act 1951 uh, the election commission of india recently got the changes where there is a section select uh, committee and the appointments committee to appoint the members of the election commission of india the election commission of india until 1990 was a single member commission and after that it became a multi member commission that is because of the reduction in the age from 21 to 18 years of age by the 61st constitutional amendment act and therefore they needed more officers to uh, take care of uh, the elections are uh, in the aftermath of that period and silent period also was a news so we have the rules of political parties requiring to be silent for 48 hours before the voting ends and this is included in section 126 of the representation of people act which provides prohibition of public meeting for a period of 48 hours ending with a fixed or conclusion of poll section 1626a places restrictions on the publication and dissemination of exit polls uh, before ending ends uh, voting ends i'm sorry and this logic is with the discussion about the surveys usually uh, ahead of the voting that can influence the people that is the exit polls and opinion polls as well so these are some of the issues that i wanted to uh, discuss with you that are important for august 19th if you did please do like share and subscribe and don't forget to comment at the end of the video and i shall see you in the next post for august 20th until then it's very happy learning